when do you buy the dip? Now, I feel like the biggest questions I receive is exactly how to buy the dip, or maybe even when to buy stocks. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but there's a few tips and tricks and methods that I've learned to properly invest my money into assets like VOO, which is an index fund or an ETF that tracks the SP 500. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys exactly how to effectively and properly buy VOO to get the best bang for your buck. And hopefully you guys can have a game plan every time you guys go in to invest your money and put it to work. Because I want you guys to get the best bang for your buck and have the highest chance of getting the most returns in the stock market. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a few ways to do this. Now let's get started. And the first way that I like to properly invest in VOO is to buy VOO and any S&P 500 index fund towards the end of the day. Now, the reason why I say to buy it at the end of the day is because usually volatility and volume in the stock market increases towards that last hour. And there's something called power hour, which is basically a heightened volatility in the markets. Even the last 30 minutes to the last five or 10 minutes, you could see huge reversals to the downside and sharp moves where the market's gonna be falling down. And if it's gonna be a big red day or if the market's gonna you know, sell off, it's gonna sell off gradually throughout the day towards that last you know, 30 minutes, you could buy VOO to get the best bang for your buck and hopefully get the best return when the market bounces up, you could confidently go throughout the market thinking that you got the best buy. Now in a few moments, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about and on your screen, I'll be showing it right now. So in this video, we could see the market open up green and gradually sell off throughout the day pretty sharply towards that last you know, 30 minutes to last 15 minutes of the market day, even the last hour. And there's another photo on your screen where you could see a more volatile day where it's not you know, a gradual sell off. It's more of like a you know, market's going up, down, doesn't know what to do. But you could see that that last hour, I mean, even the 30 minute mark, you could see is when you could get the best bang for your buck versus buying, you know, maybe even in the morning or before, you know, lunchtime. And there's another photo I'm gonna show you guys where the market went down pretty bad. It was uh, in February when it went down 2%. And you could see the market opens up red, but it gradually sells off throughout the day because if the market's gonna go red, most likely it's gonna go um, sell off throughout that day. And you guys could get the best bang for your buck and the best stock price by buying in that last hour, 30 minutes, even the last five or 10 minutes. Now, this is more of a generalization. This is not gonna be like a, you know, a holy way to buy the markets because there can be some days where the markets are going to be going up and you guys could dollar cost average into it. But this is just what, what I've observed and hopefully you guys can apply and maybe even tell me how it works when you buy. Now, another way I like to invest my money in VOO is by taking a look at a fear and greed index. Now, what a fear and greed index is, is it was developed by CNN Money to kind of show what the overall sentiment and emotion levels are in a stock market, specifically VOO or even the total stock market. Now, how I like to use this index to buy VOO is it has a few main indicators. It has extreme fear, fear, neutral, greedy, and extremely greedy. Now, when the market is gonna be at extremely fearful, even fearful, that's when the market's gonna be at its most down points. It's gonna be at the most bang for your buck in terms of the pricing. And you're gonna be seeing these large falls. So if you type in fear and greed index CNN money, it's gonna be showing you exactly these indicators. Now, I even like to invest when it's at a neutral point because I like to dollar cast average in when I buy equities in the markets. So when you guys are gonna be looking at this, I don't want you guys to be fearful because the people who are fearful the people that didn't have a game plan when the market pulls back. Pullbacks are totally healthy. It allows the markets to breathe. So when the market pulls back, I want you guys to take advantage of these lower stock prices and have a game plan when it comes to this. And in a few moments, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about when using the Fear and Greed Index to buy VOO. Now on your screen, we could see the Fear and Greed Index and it shows a 24 and now it goes from zero to 100. So anything below 50 is pretty much a buy. Anything above 50 is gonna be uh, maybe a hold, but sometimes I do like to buy. Um, we can see it says extreme fear. And if we go up, we can see that the Dow Jones is down 1.07, VOO or the SP 500 is down 1.45%, and the NASDAQ is down 1.76. So you, if you wanna confirm you know, your bias on buying the markets, you guys can use a fear and greed index 
Now, if we look at the timeline of the Fear and Greed Index, we could see in, in about April, in October, maybe even early January, we could see that even in maybe even early July, we could see that the markets um, were fearful and it was bottoming out. Now, I'm going to show you guys what the markets looked like after this Fear and Greed Index indicator showed extreme fear. Now, I pulled up what VOO looks like in the past year from what we saw from the Fear and Greed Index. So what I said was in you know early June and July, the market was at a really big downtrend and it was a great buy in the dip opportunity. In that early September, October, for what the Fear and Greed Index showed, we could see another great buying opportunity where you could have caught kind of the, the bottom of the stock market. And even in that early uh, July, late December, we could see that is another great point to buy and accumulate shares in the stock market, specifically VOO, even VTI as well. This could work as well. So if you guys want to use something like the fear and greed index, you guys can totally use that to buy stocks. Now, another huge step that I've taken to effectively buy VOO or the SP 500 is by taking a look at data and news. What I mean by data is by taking a look at CPI, which is the consumer price index, which is basically an inflation report released by the fed that shows all the inflation numbers in the economy. Even taking a look at interest rate data, which is gonna be the outlook for the rising interest rates or de-rising of interest rates in the economy. What I mean by the news side is by taking a look at stock market news, stock market updates on what went on throughout that day, maybe even that week that sent the markets either up or sent the markets down. Now, how you can specifically buy VOO by using these methods is for, on the data side, let's just say we have CPI, which is that inflation report. If inflation is supposed to be, you know, coming in at a certain number and it comes in harder than expected or it doesn't live up to, I guess, the hype or the, of the report that the Federal Reserve wants. For example, let's just say it was going to be at 6% inflation. We come in hotter at like 6.5. Most likely that's going to send the markets to be fearful because we don't want and a rising inflationary environment. That's not really healthy for the economy. So most likely stocks are gonna be going down as a result of that, and they'll be priced into the markets and you could buy on that fear. But for the SP 500, if the interest rates keep on going up, that is a really hawkish Fed, and that's gonna most likely send the markets to be fearful and equities to taper off, and you could buy on that fear. Even on the stock market news side, um, let's just say last week we had news that Silicon Valley Bank which is one of the largest banks in the United States, went bankrupt. Now what happened? It sent the markets down. It sent the markets going to extreme fear mode and the markets are gonna be falling. Now how you, what you could do is you could buy on that fear, like we talked about in the fear and greed index and get the best bank for your buck. So when markets recover, as most of the time markets will recover, you could capitalize on the opportunity and get a higher return. Now I know some of this stuff might be overwhelming to you Maybe even you're a beginner and you want to just have one way to effectively buy VOO. Now how to do that is to do what's called dollar cost averaging, DCA. What dollar cost averaging is, it's basically investing a fixed amount into a stock or equity, for our example, VOO, regardless of the share price. Now you can do this maybe daily, weekly, or monthly and invest in VOO using this method. Now in a second, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about and why this is the best method to invest in VOO instead of like investing into VOO with like a lump sum method of like a one time set it and forget it and not dollar cost averaging. Now on your screen, I have an example of dollar cost averaging by Binance. Now on the left, we see at the top, if we have a lump sum investment of $800 at $10, our average cost per buying a stock, let's just say VOO was $10. On the bottom, we see what dollar cost averaging looks like, where we invest $100 a month eight times. Now, as you can see on the left, we invested $100 at $10 per share, $20 a share, seven, 15, five, six, and 6.5. And with dollar cost averaging, our average cost of buying our stock, for the example, VOO, was $8.16. Now, if the stock recovered back to our initial investment of $10, if we lump sum invested, we would have had 0% returns. But if we dollar cost average, we've actually made a 20% return by investing $100 monthly using dollar cost averaging. Now that just about wraps it up for this video on how to properly and effectively buy VOO. 
hopefully it saved you guys maybe some time and headache on researching how to do this. And hopefully you guys could get a great bang for your buck and go to the stock markets confidently and crush it when it comes to buying the dip and getting a higher return when the stock market goes back up to all time highs. And hopefully you guys can make a lot of money. If you guys like this video, please leave a like because it really does help the channel and because this cute puppy did. Now please subscribe because that also helps the channel and helps our channel grow to reach out to more people. And if you guys would love to, you guys can comment down below maybe what method you guys are doing. Maybe you're even doing all these methods to buy VOO and effectively and confidently invest in the equity markets. Now I love you guys and I want you guys to have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.